reality is literally just a fractal. It's really hard to wrap your mind around it, but it's true. Reality itself is just an infinitely complex fractal. If I took this plate of grass here, and I asked you what it's made out of, you would maybe say cells, for example. And then if I asked you what those cells were made out of, you could list any of the organelles that make up those cells. And then if I ask you what those organelles are made out of, eventually we would get to a point where you'd say the specific molecules that they're made out of. And then if I asked you what those molecules are made out of, you'd eventually list the atoms that they're made out of. And then if I asked you what those atoms are made out of, you would say, well, they're made out of protons, neutrons, and electrons. And then if I asked you what the protons and neutrons are made out of, you would say quarks and gluons. And then if I asked you what those are made out of, we'd continue going back and back infinitely, because there is no answer to it. It just... It's infinitely complex. It's an infinitely complex pattern. Not necessarily a repeating one, as is found in a lot of specific fractals, but it's infinitely complex. And so the problem is, is that if everything was made out of just one thing, at the end of the chain of parts, then that one thing that everything is made out of wouldn't actually be anything, if you think about it. Like if, let's just say, quarks are made out of, I don't know, strings. And then those strings are made out of something else, and then those things are made out of something else. What would that bottom thing actually be if it's not made out of anything else? It wouldn't be anything. It would be, at most, an abstraction, but it couldn't actually be a thing if it's not made out of anything else. So, in reality, everything is an infinite fractal. It doesn't matter what type of thing you say everything is made out of or based on. It could be God himself that everything is made out of or based on. And it still wouldn't really solve the problem, would it? So, and then again, God himself could also just be a fractal, too. But of course, this is counterintuitive, so it's definitely very easy to deny it, or not believe it. And even, I don't know if I actually truly believe in it deep down just as of how counterintuitive it is, even though I do think it's true. Because how can things just be made out of other stuff infinitely? How can it literally be a fractal? But who knows, maybe that'll be solved.